Well, hey there everyone welcome back to another video as you see we'll be doing part three of this elementary school for the school campus series i hope that you all are enjoying it so far if you are drop a like now let's get this started Well, hey there, everybody. Again, welcome back to the school campus series. As you know, this will be part three of the elementary school, as you see here. So let's go ahead and come right back here. Again, this area back here is for the school bus pickup area. This is what we're going to be doing for this video here. So what we're going to do here, we're going to just simply take this wall right here, and it's going to go right back. To right here now we will have some windows in here but we'll add them in later on but for now just go ahead and score this up and fill this in with your brick block now once you've got that this will also come up and that will also be filled in with that block well, alright now as you see I went ahead and took the light gray concrete and made a little sidewalk here so again it's going to be six blocks wide so going from here to here six blocks that filled in there and then it'll come up to this parking lot here again this is where the half slabs were you just remove those make it look just like this right here now what you're going to do is you're going to take this door right right here and you're going to add another layer of door right right on top so Everywhere that you have this door right, all this right here, all the way around this, all this here, you're going to go ahead and add another layer of this door right. Now you're also going to do the same thing right over here. So everywhere that you have this door right, all the way around here, you're going to again add another layer going all the way around. All right, now once you have that door right all the way around, another layer, we're going to work on these windows. Now, I went ahead and done a window here. But don't worry, I'll show you how to do it all the way down. So right here, what you're going to pretty much do is come from this wall here. And you're going to come out one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to have a door right wall right here. So again, one, two, three, four, five from there. Now these windows are going to be, the glass itself is going to be three blocks, so again one, two, three, and they're going to be five blocks tall, so one, two, three, four, five with the glass. So a three by five with the glass, and then you're going to have a direct wall in the middle, and then another three by five, and then another direct wall. So that direct wall will come up and over the window here and as you see here I have the acacia trap doors and they will go right up top up here going across place them here not here but here on that door wall you're going to over hang it like this here on each side of the window and this is what it should look like here so once you have that then you're going to take this brick block and it will come straight on top level with this simply take it on across to this corner and you're just gonna fill this in right here All right now once you have this here now let's go ahead and count this so right here is gonna be one two three four five and six to this corner again this is what you should have very simple now come around this side here we're gonna have a smaller window and you're gonna have three blocks right here before you get to the right wall here this window will be the same size so it's gonna be three this way and five tall this brick will simply come straight on up and filled in very simple self-explanatory there you're gonna have 
two blocks of door right here with the brick coming straight on up. Well, right now for this window, this is what it should look like. Pretty much the same thing as this window, just smaller. Well, right now on this side here, you're going to have six windows. And then you're going to come right over here. Let's go ahead and count some blocks. So from this corner here, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. And then you're going to have your window. Again, all these windows are going to be the same as this, is what we've already done. They're going to be three by five with the glass. You're going to have your door right wall up and around. And then you're also going to have your trap doors on top of it just like this so it's gonna be just like this window here just like what we already done now in between each of these windows you're gonna again you're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine blocks in between each one of these windows again you're gonna have six sets of windows now right here at the very end you're gonna have one two three four blocks right there at that corner also very simple you're gonna take this brick right here straight on up and it's gonna be even with this here it'll come on across right above all of these windows and it'll meet right up here to this corner so just pretty much fill all that in up around the windows well, alright now this here is what you should have very simple and I think it looks pretty good again let me know what you think down below for this series now what we're gonna do right over here we are gonna go ahead and take this wall this brick straight on across on top of here we're not gonna put no windows right here so this here just be simply filled in so go ahead and fill in this here with that brick block now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and take this block here and it's gonna go ahead and come right on top and you're gonna have one block from here so it's not gonna be quite as tall be one block from the top there it's gonna come on across alright so that there will be filled in with that and then right here we're gonna go ahead and put a door so we're gonna count two blocks and then we're gonna put a double door here here go ahead and put your stone and then your iron doors right here let's go ahead and fill this in well, alright now this is what you should have here now right here we're going to put a window, it's going to be one block from the door, two blocks from this corner, and it's going to be three blocks wide and three blocks tall. So a three by three with this window. And now grab your in stone brick slab, the same slab as what we've been using across the front of the building. Going to overhang it over here by one and just come straight on across just like that. I'm going to go ahead and make it another and overhang this on the brick one two blocks just like that. Well, all right now when you get to right here what we're going to go ahead and do is take this here straight on up and square this off we're not gonna have a window in here so you can just fill that in with that door right now once you've got that then you're gonna take your brick block on here and it's gonna come up one block higher again it'll be just like this level with this one block higher and this here will come straight on across here And then now what we're going to do guys is we're going to put some windows along here. 
Now these windows are going to be the same exact as what we just done along there. And also something very important guys, I'm going to go ahead and mark this. So you see where this wall here is, this door right wall, I'm going to mark it here. That is going to be perfectly in line with this door right wall here. Okay, so that window is going to be dead center of this one. Also, this one here, dead center, you get the idea. And then this one here is going to be perfectly in line with this. So you're going to have three of those windows along here. So go ahead and do that and then put the brick right on top in between. All right, now this is what you should have right here. Very simple. Now, before we get into this area here, just go ahead and copy all this brick and the windows. Copy all this right here on this side. And remember, very important, to keep this in line with wherever it's going to be over here. So when you put the windows in here, Keep them in line with each other. Make sure that you have three windows on this side all perfectly matched up. Now also when you do this section here, you're going to copy all this here. It's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be mirrored over. So you're going to have this brick wall here. You're going to have this entrance here. All this here that we've done, you're going to go ahead and copy every bit of it right over here. All right, again, this is what you should have. The same thing on each side, just mirrored. Also with these windows, again, make sure that they're lined up perfectly with each other. All right, now inside of here, this is where your playground is gonna be all closed in and nice and safe. Now right here, you're gonna find the two middle blocks, which is gonna be right here. You're gonna place the stone in here. Now you're gonna have from here to here, you're going to have 10 blocks, and then from here to here will also be 10 blocks. So 10 blocks on both sides of this entrance. You're going to put in your iron doors in here. Now once you've got that in there, then you're just simply going to take this gray wool, or whatever, whatever you guys are going to be using for this here, just make sure that it's like... A darker color type wool if you don't have this texture pack and this here is just simply going to come up we will add some windows in here but for now just go ahead and fill this in so this is going to come up like that and the same for the other side this here will just simply come straight on up the same height and all this across filled in all right, now once you have it filled in, it should look like this right here. You're going to have two windows here, one on each side of the door here. I went ahead and done one window here, as you see. Don't worry, we will go ahead and copy this window right on this side, as you see here. So you're going to have one block from here and one block from here. Okay, it's going to be the same thing. You have one block from here, one block from here. Now the glass itself is going to be three tall and five long this way, all right? Now you're going to have a granite wall up and over around the whole window. Now in this texture pack, the granite wall is black. Now if you're using a different texture pack, try to use a wall that will match this color block here. Something that will match it. Now... This here is going to be seven blocks with this wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right over here again, it's going to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it's pretty self explanatory. Just go ahead and come on up using this same technique. Go ahead and put your window in there, and it's going to be the same as this one. All right, now as you see, I went ahead and put in the end stone brick slab, the one that we've been using, up against the brick here on both sides, as you see. 
and it's going to be right here above the windows going across it's going to be two blocks here as well so go ahead and do that well, alright now there's something that's very important that we need to look over very quickly so you see how these windows right here are there's two blocks of this door right right here same over here that's how this right here is gonna be this is how it's supposed to be now if you take a look at these windows remember when we done these here these here will be a block lower like they are now so there's one block instead of two alright now I've done that on purpose because for the playground it needs to be up higher to look over the playground over the children so remember that this is going to be one block here and around here it's going to be two blocks like how we have it now when you come over here to do this side here it's going to be like the far side it's going to be one block all the way down you're going to have a total of four windows on this side all right now I went ahead and mark these out so again with the yellow block here this wall here is dead center of that window so remember keep these dead center of each other so these three here is going to be dead center of each other now if you've done it right you're going to have one two three four blocks from this window and the windows are all going to be the same now over here you're gonna have one two three four blocks from this corner well, alright now this is what you should have very simple now what we're gonna do we're gonna come up right here by eight blocks so right here one two three four five six seven eight right here now if you've done that correctly then you're gonna have one two three four five six blocks from that top all right now you're going to take this here on across you're going to fill that in it's going to come across here you're going to have a doorway right here so two blocks here and two blocks there so you have a doorway here again with your iron doors you're also gonna have a doorway here again two blocks here and two blocks here now this here is just simply going to come on across fill that in this here as well all this right here coming up will all just be filled in and then also right across here well, alright now once you have it filled in it should look like this here now let's go ahead and do some windows as you see I went ahead and done a window here this is going to be one two three four from here and also four blocks from here as well now I use the red nether brick stairs they're upside down right here so make sure that you use some sort of stair that almost matches close as possible to that brick block there now up under here go ahead and put your concrete block of choice right there and then the window itself is going to be three blocks tall with the glass and two blocks wide above the glass here we have that stair upside down just like that there all right now we're going to do the same window there two more times here now as you see we have one two three four from this corner and this here is where the window is going to be and then we also have one two three four and then another window here all right now same thing so upside down stairs here 
concrete block up under here because that will be visible and then again three blocks tall and then with the stairs upside down and then just simply put in your glass in here so go ahead and do that there right here all right now what we're going to do is grab stone brick slabs you're gonna come inside here and you're gonna go nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you're gonna have two blocks with a slab like this. And then you're gonna have a single. And then you're gonna have two like this. And then from there, the slabs will go along here. The slabs will go all the way down to here. So carry them on down, and inside of here it will be just grass. Right in here, this will just be curved around. And later on we'll add details, flowers, and things like that, so don't worry on that. There will be a lot of detail added to this school later on. Now right here we're going to have another window. And again, it's going to be one two three four blocks from here and also four blocks from here so you're gonna do the same thing as what we just done so you're gonna do that window there same as what we done and then you're gonna do another window here again the same exact thing it's going to be four blocks from here, so one, two, three, four, and also one, two, three, four from here. Alright, now let's come right over here. Grab your smooth quartz slab, and they will come right on top of here to hide that brick, because you don't want to have a brick ceiling. Can you imagine laying brick for a ceiling? So let's go ahead and cover that up right there. Alright and this will come on across like that go ahead and come out overhang it like this keep that modern look to the school all right just like that now what we're going to do guys is we are going to go ahead and take this on down like so and it's going to go ahead and meet up right over here so right here where the, these doors are you're going to go ahead and come up one, two, three, four, and right on top of that, you're going to place that half slab. All right, now you're going to carry this half slab on down, and it will meet straight up with this right here. So carry this on down. Just like that and just go ahead and fill in this with that slab all right now this is what it should look like once it's filled in now right over here what we've done before for in between these door right walls that's what we're gonna do so first off you can have a door right wall up against the brick here okay then you're gonna have again four blocks and then a door right wall all these will come straight down four blocks in between here and then you're gonna have one right here at the corner so you have one two three four walls on this side and then you're gonna turn looking at this side again four blocks apart you're gonna have I'm gonna count these on this side so we got one in the corner here two three four and five now if you've done it correctly, you have four blocks until you get here. Perfect. Now what you're going to do, once you have those down, then you're going to look at this one and this one. Alright? Those two there. You're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Knock that out to market. 
and then go right up under here and you're gonna go ahead and put a pillar there same as here and again yes they will come on down alright now let's go ahead and head right back here I told you earlier that we would add some windows back here and I'd be back to it so that's what we're gonna do right here so right here where we have the bus pickup spot and we have this section here where we have this entrance we're gonna put some windows right here now we're going to have a total of four windows here and I went ahead and marked it out where it's going to be. So right off of here we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six and then grab your red nether brick stairs. Again what we done just a little bit ago upside down it's going to be four of those and remember to grab your concrete block of choice and again they will go up under these stairs now this window here is going to be one two three four blocks tall with the glass so in here one two three and four and then right here will be the upside down stairs so one two three four alright so go ahead and fill that in and remember these windows are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six blocks apart. And again, they're going to be one, two, three, four blocks for the window. And there's going to be four of these right here. All right, now this is what it should look like. Very nice. Now what we're going to do guys is we're going to come right around here and we're going to go ahead and put a overhang like this right over here above this window. So two blocks there and overhang it just like that. Alright now right here for the dumpster pad area grab your stone brick wall and right here you're going to come up three with that now you're gonna skip two spaces here and put in a wall there this will also be three tall this will be three tall all the way around we're replacing this wall this will come to this corner here and then on this side it'll be six blocks so this is one here two three four five and six alright now once you have that then we're gonna go ahead and come right over here and again three blocks tall and then six for this side so this is one two three four five and six now once you have that then go ahead and grab your trap door of choice I'm going to use the warped trap door and what we're going to do is we're going to have a temporary block back behind here two blocks tall and then we're going to put in these here right on that block just like this and then well let's go ahead and make it another block taller now once you have that then you can go ahead and get rid of the temporary block back here alright now go ahead and grab your stone brick full block and we're just gonna go ahead and replace that there that way it meets up with that a little bit better than having a gap in there like that that looks a lot better like that now once you have that there then right back here we're gonna do the dumpster now I'm gonna use a green terracotta to be one block from the wall here and I'm gonna count two blocks from the door is gonna be this block it's gonna be one two three four five and three this way so three by five 
and I'm gonna make it two blocks tall. Alright. Now on top of here I'm gonna put in the trap doors for the lid and then for a smaller recycling bin it can be light blue terracotta be pretty much same thing just smaller well, alright now this is what it should look like inside here now once you've got that then now let's go ahead and come right over here where this entrance is and we're gonna go ahead and grab the end stone brick slabs once again right here one two three four five six and come out by 20 so counting this one here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 go ahead and carry this on across and fill this in All right now once again these are going to be four blocks apart like what we've been doing with the walls coming down and you're gonna have a total of four walls here and then four on this side as well well, alright now back to the main entrance right here what we're gonna do is grab this polished granite right here and we're gonna add five so one two three four five and then we're going to take it on across this way, square this up right here. And then from there, we're going to come down here and pretty much fill in this. Alright, now you see this is brought back and filled in around this is what you should have now what we're gonna do is gonna take this brick wall here and simply carry it on across up against that just like that right there and then let's go ahead and come down here take this on across and then fill this in with that well, alright now once you have that there then right up top here you're gonna have the iron trap door or a white trap door smooth quartz stairs polished anisite stair and black carpet now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take the polished anisite stairs and you're going to come up top here and place them like this facing this way you're going to turn them this way here and place them right on top of this turn this way and go in this direction wrap these around just like this and then you're going to take these smooth quartz stairs and you're going to turn them upside down like this right here and they're going to go all the way around this here up against those stairs all the way around then you're going to take the trap door and place on top of these stairs like this and then once you have that all the way around then you're going to take your black carpet and place inside here now you're going to have to have a block in here filled in obviously to place your carpet on top well alright now this is what you should have now now once you have that now go ahead and grab your smooth quartz stairs once again and you're going to be placing them like this right here and they will go along this top all the way down just like this and then they'll come up right up against that wall now to fill this in I'm going to use the black wool 
because up here is a black carpet makes sense so right here I'm gonna fill it in on this level for this section so fill all that in on that level for that section there now what I'm gonna do up here on this one I'm gonna have these stairs like this also but when you get up to right here so that's not gonna work so what you're gonna do take that out double that up full block and then bring that across like that this stair will go all the way down right on top of that all the way down wrap it around here and then it'll end up down here like this so go ahead and do that all the way down and then you're going to do it on top of this brick as well so it would be like this it will go all the way down on top of this brick and then when you get to this section on top of here like this you're going to just have it across like that make it have a overhang like this it's going to go straight on across here right on top of here all the way around on top of this brick end up right here all right then you're going to carry on right here on top of this brick and guess what yes it will go all the way down here it'll wrap around this section here just like this going all the way around right on top of all this all the way around on top of here now when you get to this section here when it comes like this we're gonna do like what we've done over there we're gonna overhang it like this right here or overhangs this and that will be carried all the way down to here it'll meet up right here carry on down and the same thing here you gotta take that out double that up and then it'll meet up just like that all right now once you have that with this being like this here with this overhanging like this you're gonna take the polished anisite stairs and they will go on top of here like this just for this section here they'll stop right here and they'll do the same thing over here so right on top of this gray they'll stop right there just like that and the same thing over here you're gonna have this stair like this right on top of that gray as well right now on top of these white dorite walls what we're gonna do instead of doing the stairs we're gonna go ahead and do smooth quartz block right on top of here then once you have that looking like this all the way on the top of it then grab your black wool and you'll go right here on this level and this entire school the entire top of it all the rest of it as you see here will be filled in on this level right here all right now right over here you're just simply going to take the smooth quartz stairs and just place them on top like this all the way around to there and then you're going to go ahead and put in your roof in this level here well, right now once you have it filled in it should look like this right here I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here for part 3 part 4 we will finish this elementary school now in part 4 we will be doing the playground and a lot of little details here and there I hope that you all are enjoying the series so far if you are please drop a like and let me know what you think down below thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time